Well, we have found gold. It's a lioness that is trying to creep up on a warthog. Now, it's still got quite a way to go to the warthog. We'll show you where it is in a few moments, but let's just enjoy these views of her as she slinks through the grass. Beautiful. She's looking quite full-bellied to me, but obviously she doesn't want to forego this opportunity. We spotted her from a distance. We're not sure if there are any other lions. And I think it is just her. Okay, let's have a quick look at the, the warthog. So she still has to cross the road. Hello, everyone. And there's the warthog over there. A little bit to the right there, perfect. Hello everyone who has just joined us on Facebook. You can see there's a warthog. Morning, hello you, over there. And my name's Scott, it's great to have you with us. And then just over here, about 100 meters away, there is a hungry lioness who's trying to get herself some bacon for breakfast. Now, the warthog's unaware of her presence, having said, now let's stay on the lioness and see what she does, and I'll keep an eye on the warthog. I'm not sure if it's just running off because it's a bit nervous. It's quite windy. Shame, God, it looks like this warthog is heading off into the distance, but she may keep following it. Let's have a quick look at the warthog fur just to show everyone how far away it is. It's directly at our probably our three o'clock between us and those elephants it may pop out. Just to the right of the elephants now there's a termite mound. Just to the right of that termite mound is where the warthog are. Lo there we go, well done. So it's a long way off now. I'm not sure if it's spotted or if it just got a bit of a funny feeling. Either way, this poor lioness is going to have to work a little bit harder for her breakfast this morning. There, she's crossed the road now, so she's still pursuing it. I don't think she knows how far it has actually moved. We have the benefits that we're a little bit elevated. She's a lot lower to the ground, so she probably, I'm guessing, isn't exactly sure how far away it is. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. We are coming to you guys live from the Masai Mara in Kenya, one of Africa's greatest safari playgrounds. And it's been a beautiful morning here. It's about 8.40 a.m. And it's been a fairly quiet morning up until bumping into this lady. At least that's from our vehicle. James and Jamie are also out. Oh, look at how cool this is. She's creeping up onto the termite mound. You can see she's just kind of flattened herself a little bit just to get better elevation to work out where this warthog has gone. I've lost track of where it has gone, but it's certainly a long way off from her at the moment. There's not too much other possible prey for her, although, having said that, there are some impala just in front of those elephant ferg but they are perched up on a termite mound looking directly in her direction. So I'm guessing they may have already spotted her. So there you can just see the impala in front of those elephants. She's heading towards them, but like I say, she's got her work cut out for her because they are already very, very focused in on her. Marvellous. Well, I think we are going to reposition now and get in front of this lioness and keep following her and see what she gets up to. There is a little road that I'm going to use that can take us around there. It's actually the same road we spotted her from. So we'll go across there rather than off-roading unnecessarily. I'm quite 
bit surprised she's still on the move, but I mean, that is the reality of these safaris is you just can't predict what the animals are going to do and when. She looks quite full-bellied, and it's not like that warthog was close to her. She's made a concerted effort to go towards it. Okay, here is the road. Hello, Francis in Israel. Good to have you with us. You'd like to know if she would be capable of taking down a large warthog all on her own. Yes, she certainly would. That warthog wasn't the biggest, um, but yes, even the biggest of warthogs would be a fair match for a lioness. Dangerous because they've got very sharp tusks that protrude out their bottom jaw that occlude against those top round tusks that you see quite easily. But the problem ones are the razor sharp ones below that so that they could get sliced up and there certainly have been numbers of leopard and lion that do get, and cheetah I'm sure, that get sliced up by the old warthogs from time to time. Okay, where has she gone? Oh, here goes the warthog. <laughs> Let's work out where she is. So the warthog would be looking back in her direction if she what wa if the warthog was in fact aware of her presence. Possibly just this windy weather that's making it a little bit nervous.